what's up guys we are right here with a new video our topic today is how to grow arrow roots in a non-waterlogged piece of land yes arrow root farming arrow roots locally known as nduma are traditional tubers loved by kenyans for their sweet taste and as a healthy delicacy mostly enjoyed at the breakfast table. Arrow roots locally known as Nduma are traditional tubers loved by Kenyans for their sweet taste and as a healthy delicacy mostly enjoyed at the breakfast table. For value addition, arrow roots are processed into powder or arrow root flour uh, that is easily digestible. It is also used to make infant formula and as a thickener in baking. As a tuber, health benefits of the arrow roots include regulation of the heartbeat and blood pressure, boosting immunity aiding in digestion and clearing of excess cholesterol. Now, when it comes to planting, arrow roots take five to six months to mature. They are commonly grown in areas that have plenty of water, mostly riverbeds and swamps. Trenches are the best way to allow the harnessing of water for the plants to grow without competing for vital resources. Varieties commonly grown in Kenya include Dashin and Edo. The Dashin arrowroot is known for its large tubers. A new farming technology known as upland arrowroots technology that is catching up in areas that have lesser water supply consists of planting the arrow roots on trenches or moisture beds lined with heavy gauge polythene papers. The polythene prevents seepage of water from the soil mixed with manure. After planting, the suckers are mulched to prevent the moisture loss. All that a farmer requires is a polythene bag uh, organic fertilizer, compost manure, and suckers. Now, I'm gonna talk about the uses of arrow roots. Arrow roots is a source of one of the purest types of natural carbohydrates. The superior quality starch is utilized in the making process uh, of scones, baked goods, pudding and cakes. Other plant parts are superb roughage and silage for animals. Arrowroot starch also has demulcent properties and in some cases utilized as a part of the treatment of ailments of the intestine. concludes our video that was part one of the arrow root farming for our next episode we are going to look at part two the harvesting part of it 
and we are going to speak to a consultant about the details of this kind of farming. Thanks for watching guys, our channel is growing, uh, like this video, share this video, watch our other videos and subscribe, peace and out.